hello everybody welcome to my channel if you're here for the first time welcome my name is martina and for my regular viewers welcome back so in my last video i showed you how to add tax to your to your invoice using google sheets now today i'm going to do it a little differently this is more an advanced tutorial and i'm doing it based on a question that was asked by one of my viewers right so the question is um now let me just try and see if i can make this as simple as possible okay now we have the invoice here and the question is like um we have like the description here and the amount of the for the service right with the actual price plus the tax included as you can see here total including tax of 7.75 and the question was to have this one rule um, normally i would have put one row with the base price another row with the tax and a final row with the tax plus the base price so i've had three rows um that sorry that may be columns but um the person said they just want to have one column with the base price plus the tax um with a final total here for each row um another way i would have normally would have done it i would have just add the tax down here um, add the tax on the total price of all the base prices, right? So now this is how we're going to do it. So like I said before, this is a more advanced tutorial. So stick with me. Here we go. So I have here um, a worksheet, a basic worksheet, worksheet, right? And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to just pull up one of Google Sheets um, templates. So I'm going to go into file, I'm going to say new, and we're going to pick from template. And this here is basically what recently used, but if you don't have that area here, um, we just scroll down and look for invoice template. Here you'll see under work, um, invoice, I'm going to select this one, sorry. Okay, so we have the base template here, okay? All right, to the bottom here, we have, um, this is, we call it like sheets, okay? So the name of this sheet where we have the template is called invoice. I'm gonna create another sheet. So to do so, I'm gonna put a plus sign, and we have, you'll see here, sheet number two. The first sheet that we had with the template is here for invoice number, the same invoice, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to rename this sheet. I'm going to click on the arrow, the drop down arrow, and I'm going to say rename. And I'm going to say the details. I'm probably going to put invoice. I'll just put invoice input. And this one, I'm going to rename this one to. I'm going to rename. I'm going to say invoice output okay next thing I'm going to do I am going to put I'm going to shift this sheet to the left so to do that I'm going to click on the drop down arrow again and I'm going to say move to the left so it's moved to here and the one with the template it's, it's the second one okay all right so now that we have done that now what I'm going to do my intention is to have this sheet like an input sheet and it's going to flow to the output sheet okay so like again this is more is a more advanced tutorial so again stick with me all right it's, it's simple so as long as you follow what i'm saying you'll be able to understand what i'm doing all right so i'm just going to put in information here this is the basic data for your customer um, name and address phone number then you come to details for your customer description and you have that about three times whatever you want to do okay this is about three lines okay that's basic information okay we have well, the important thing is the tax Okay, so let's put in that information here now. Let's put in the person's name, address, phone number, 
phone number and description let's see um, right and we're going to put in the price now so this here will be the base price tax okay so let's say the base price i'll just plug in some information here and let's see freshman so is like uh, Okay, oops, now for, we're going to add a formula here now, okay, formula. So I'm going to put a plus sign, click on this information, the 250, multiply that by the, oh, I forgot to put in the tax, sorry, my bad. Let me just start, come out from here. The tax is 7.75, okay. Let's go back here, put in a plus sign. Click on the E, that's E9, multiply by the tax of 7.75, enter that, okay? That's not right, I've <laughs> edited that cell. We're going to edit that formula, so we're going to divide that by 100. Okay, $19.35, let's put that to two decimal places. We're going to just click on here, decrease decimal places by one. Okay. All right. For here, I'm going to format this to two decimal places. Excellent. All right. So I'm going to copy this formula down to the other two cells. So I'm going to click on that, right click, copy. I'm going to highlight the other two cells and right click and paste. Okay, so now the reason that is saying that is because um, the cell address for the tax will be the same. And what the formula did, it just went to the next cell, which is not correct. So I'm going to edit that. And for, you see here it's jumping at cell number C8, where, which is blank. So I'm going to edit that to put C7 for each cell. Okay. And the other one, C7. Okay, so now we have tax. This is the tax figure. This is the base figure, base price, sorry, and the tax, okay? Let's just center this, but it doesn't really matter because nobody is going to be seeing this information but you. Your customer wouldn't be seeing this information. This is the input sheet, okay? All right, now this is a key thing that we're really looking forward to have on our invoice, right? So what I'm going to do, um, and just just simple addition now now that we have the base price the tax price we're going to just want to add these two figures okay so i'm going to put in a plus sign that's e9 plus f9 enter okay i'm just going to copy this formula right click copy this formula down to the next two cells and right click paste excellent so what I would like to do just for calculation, just for, um, how you say, verification's sake, I'd like to put, I'll put in an addition here. Just use the add sum, click on the functions, click on sum. Okay, and I'm gonna just gonna select from here. Enter. Okay, so the reason I did this is so when you actually have the invoice, the total should be this figure. So this is just like a verification to make sure that what your invoice has this particular figure, okay? So now that we have put in the base information for our, invo our invoice, we're gonna transfer this data, the basic information that we need to the invoice. So let's get that to done. So remember we have the two sheets here, input, invoice input and invoice output. So I'm gonna click on invoice output. Okay, so now that we have our invoice here, we're going to get the information transferred to the invoice, to this, template here okay so we're going to put in the customer's name so i'm going to click here invoice for and this is the name here so i'm going to click on here okay press the plus sign 
Now I'm going to go over to the invoice input, click on that. And I'm going to click on the person's name here, click on that and press enter. That automatically transfers to so the input invoice input sheet, invoice output sheet. So I'm going to do the other part of the customer's address and telephone number. So here I go. Click on the cell, press the plus sign, go to invoice input sheet. Click on the customer's address, press enter. And there we go. I don't need this row. I'm just going to leave that row there quickly. Delete row. Okay. I'll just put the phone number here, click on the cell, press the plus sign, go to invoice input sheet, click on the phone number, enter. All right. So for the description, I'm going to do the same. So watch as I go along, you see how I do it. It's the same, same, same system. Okay. Click on description for the first um, description. Click on that. Press the plus sign. The here. So with the um, refreshments, press enter. The other one is, so we can just copy that. Excellent. So for here, we don't need quantity. I'm, I'm not going to put in any quantity price based on what I was asked. So I'll just delete all of this. And just provide I'm going to change this this heading to total with um, tax included so I'm just I'm going to wrap that so I'm going to click on that cell going to format I'm going to text wrap and click on wrap okay excellent so to get the figures are full in here is the same concept as what we did to get for the description. So I'm going to click on here for the first figure of entertainment. Click on the plus sign. Go back to invoice input. Click on this figure here. Total with tax. Press enter. Okay. And I'm going to right click on this um, formula. Right click. Copy that. And just click on the other cell. I like that and right click paste. All right, so let's see now we have a total here of 1907. Let's see if that works back to what we had on the other on the input sheet, like I said for verification. 1907.18. Very good. So that has it's the same figure. So everything is correct. That transferred. Now how I did this um, setup is that this um this here is like a one-time thing so you just need to change this information here for another invoice and it will automatically transfer to the output sheet so this is basically like a one-time thing but for each customer this information will change okay <clears throat> so this is it for the tutorial right let me just backtrack a bit um the template now that we have done with the template um how i did this system is that for the template you don't have to do anything um this is basically basically the output sheet um all is all the input that you have to do for your customer stuff you just change only changes is made on your input sheet um of course the tax will stay the same unless you change the tax rate um within a year or whatever but um the what your customer service will change the prices will change um and these two columns are formulas it wouldn't change that and of course the name address and telephone number will change um but as fast as you change the information like i said before it will automatically change to your output sheet so that's how this is set up okay so if you enjoyed this video click on the thumbs up button leave a comment for me and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and don't forget to click on the bell next to the subscribe button in doing so you get a notification each time i upload a new video okay thanks so much for watching take care bye bye